Hey folks, happy Friday. It is a, another beautiful day out there. Hope you get to enjoy it a little bit warmer today. So uh, have the opportunity to enjoy some beautiful weather. I want to continue looking at Paul's writings. It is 1 Corinthians chapter 12 that we're looking at. And we're going to spend a day looking at 1 Corinthians 12 and then looking at 1 Corinthians 13 in a couple of verses um, and then move to 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, we've been talking about spiritual gifts in the church, so this really goes hand in hand, but I'm going to add a couple of scriptures from 1 Corinthians 12 that we haven't looked at as well. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 12, beginning in verse 1, then we're going to jump to verse 12. He says, now concerning spiritual gifts, I do not want you to be uninformed. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For the body does not consist of one, but of many. If the foot should say, because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them, as he chose. As it is, there are many parts, yet one body. And that, my friends, is part of the beauty of the church. First of all, there was so much division in Corinth. Uh, and the people were fighting over spiritual gifts and not understanding. And so Paul lays it out there that all of the gifts are important. There are many members. There are many parts of the body, yet they're all important. And he goes on more and says, you know, the lesser parts, the parts that we may be embarrassed of, well, they're just as important as everything else. So let me encourage you. Whatever gifts that you have, and let me tell you, I've said this every week, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you have been gifted by God with spiritual gifts that goes above and beyond your natural abilities and the talents that you have. You are gifted by God. You are a member of the body of Christ, and you are vitally, vitally important to the kingdom of God. Because without you, we truly are less complete. I believe that with all of my heart. When one person says, no, I'm not going to open my gifts, I'm not going to use my gifts, the church is not as powerful as we could be. So I want to encourage you. We passed out spiritual gift assessments. They're on the website. Fill them out. Check out what, what are my gifts. What, what gifts do you have that you could use that maybe you say, yeah, I'm already using them. I'm good. Or maybe you say, you know, I never knew I had these gifts. They're so important in the body. And I love just the metaphors that Paul uses. You know, if if the whole body were an eye, can you imagine if we were all an eye? Or if we were all a nose? Or if we were all an ear? Or if we were all a hand? But we're not. The church is comprised of so many people. And that's part of the beauty and the promise and the glory and the power and strength of the church. When we come together, we are an unstoppable force. That is, Jesus told Peter, the gates of hell can never prevail against the church. Have a great week and God bless you.